Assassin. Welcome back to the vlog. We've got a video today that has been long anticipated by everybody in the comments section about 8-Ball. The truck that made my worst nightmare come true after such an amazing time in ownership. Ah, crap, I forgot to turn the lights off. We can't be wasting energy in these parts. Let's crank them off right there. I made a very regretful decision in the design of this building. I don't regret anything that I did except two things. One, I should have put a man door along the front of the wall or along that side, something like that, so I didn't have to go through my home office to get out to the shop space. And number two, I should have put light switches in more locations to turn the lights on and off, depending on where I exited the building. The only spots I have them are right there and inside that wall right there. It is what it is. Check out the bow setter. Let's uh, grab us a spark yuzu mint for the road. I'll get back to eight ball in a sec. Just this is way more important. If you guys want to grab one of these things, I will put the link in the description below. You can grab, grab them on Amazon or you can actually grab them at enthusiast.com and also get entered for the C8 Z51 Stingray and $20,000 cash. This right here is my miracle serum to get over the afternoon slump and hump. I can't be slowing down, boys. Every minute matters. All right, back to eight ball. Ugh. The truck that literally scared the life out of passengers also scared the life out of me and made my worst nightmare come true and that was being in an accident in one of the giveaway vehicles let's be honest this is a very real risk for anybody that drives on the open public road people don't pay attention these days and it is worse distracted driving rates now than ever the person that pulled out in front of us blatantly admitted to not seeing us and why did they not see us when we were directly in front of them by only a few foot it's probably because they were on their cell phone although they did not admit to it and it couldn't happen at an even worse time because cassidy merritt the winner of that truck had only owned the thing technically for like 25 minutes fortunately by god's good grace he's a good man he kept us safe in the way of danger and It's so good. It's so good. This thing is so fun. The Z51 mode, no manual mode engaged. Just drive Z51. It is so fun. All right. Anyway, he kept us safe. Uh, and it's just been a, a heartache. It's been uh, tough. It's been a long time. It's been over a year now uh, just pulling it all together. And today, uh, we're going to get you guys an update on that thing. Let's do it again. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> the 12th of November is going to randomly get a thousand dollars. One of the orders will be eligible to get a random thousand dollars dropped in it. My team is going to literally take one thousand dollars cash and just drop it into the order which could be yours as long as you order before the November 12th deadline. This opportunity ends at midnight Eastern Standard Time on the 12th of November. I'm going to be switching back and forth on you guys with hands here. Usually I vlog with my right hand but I have bad news. My shoulder is destroyed. Uh, thank you, motocross at a young age and a um, no fear mindset. This is really catching up to me now, but my, my labrum is shot. I'm going in to get a, what they call an arthrogram in my shoulder where they inject all this dye to like light up the tendons, but I'm pretty sure it's completely destroyed, which means that I'm going to be in a sling in the beginning of 2024, which is going to suck. I just got to get fixed though. It's just one of those things. Squirrel moment. All right, quick intermission on the vlog for my boy Brody. Run it. All right, <laughs> we got a couple sales going on. We got $250 off of a full front end in paint protection film. We got $150 off of ceramic coatings, the five year or the seven year package. We have $25 off of bed liners and 10% off of all window film installs. Run through the end of the year. So 2023, seize the opportunity. Shout out to my homies that are local. Shout out to our homies that are local. I figured I'd toss it out there for you guys. Heck yeah. Plus, these guys have a cool event that's coming up, which is? The 18th. Uh, it's 10 to 12 on Saturday, November 18th. So, don't so pray for good weather. 
I'm gonna do my best to be there. If you guys wanna come, you should definitely check it out. You're gonna to get to meet Zach at Precision Vehicle Works that is now in the back where left lane used to be. Hopefully we have a really good turnout. Hopefully Mother Nature cooperates. Be some cool cars, don't miss it. Mark it, November 18th, boom. Resurrection of 8-Ball, man. Wow. It feels like it has been such a long time in the process. It's just because it's been it's been a minute. Incredible to see this truck in its uh, form that once was prior to the accident that had happened, man. Obviously, there's a lot of emotions wrapped up in this package because not only is this 8-Ball, the legend of 8-Ball, that has been just an iconic ultimate fun haver. It was a pillar of the channel for such a period of time. It was a staple, if you will. But then the accident happened and it all came crashing down. All these emotions just smacked down at one time. Not only the excitement of giving the truck away, but all of the history of just the W's that this truck has collected over the years. It looks so good. It's so great to see it this way. Cassidy, I'm sure you're really excited about seeing this video right now as well because you're getting a very in-depth look. Although the guys over here obviously have been keeping you updated. It looks so, it's, it, I'm just kind of taken for words right now. Scrap value, man. That's about all that it's worth at this point. It's this crazy, rust, dude. This rust got a little escalated from sitting outside. Oh, yeah. like it wasn't like that. <laughs> hey man, I always yeah. said I, I rescued eight ball from being a farm truck and now it's just a full blown restoration. Yeah, Look at how crazy that is. And I was sitting like, I was sitting like right here. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. like, that's like the weirdest part about this whole thing is like, every time I'm here, that was like really freaking traumatic, man. Yeah. Buckled the inside. And this is a, a fully frame. box frame, you know? Yeah. Bent that thing like it was, a rubber band like boom, no problem yeah well actually when we pulled it apart we found that the motor mount on this side came completely out no way it was only being held in by this dude that yeah. is crazy and trans cross member but yeah the motor mount was like right here it was just resting up on yeah. top <laughs> yeah that's insane yeah dude i would just uh chalk it up for scrap value you know this is some good this is some good old steel right here <laughs> i thought we'd cut it up and, and give it away to your Yours. Oh yeah, you want to like you want to like mince it up and put it in jars, right? right. <laughs> Have a piece of eight ball. <laughs> take home a very own piece of eight ball. So for all intents and purposes, I am not going to take you guys through everything here. I'll just give you some updates from the last video. Uh, the biggest updates: the fact that the cab has been completely repainted. Obviously, you guys know the work that comes out of Peach Bottom. Continue to have to give them credit where credit is due. I don't think if the relationship existed between Sean and myself, he would have taken this project on, but he really did this kind of as a favor and for just the history of the truck. And that says so much about the people that make up Peach Bottom right here. So Cassidy, we got really lucky on that one. But anyway, everything's been repainted on the truck. I did highlight some of the body lines, which look absolutely incredible. You guys saw a few shots of up underneath the hood, the compressor housings um, need to get repowder coated. That's happening right now. But as you saw, the truck starts, it runs. It sounds amazing. I missed that sound tremendously. The new frame is in, which has been powder coated. You guys saw obviously the other frame over there, which is totally uh, scrap metal value at this point in time. Let's see guys. I mean, everything is pretty much back. Like this truck is drivable. Um, it's, it's resurrected from the dead, you know, the door opens 
closes. Rocker panels have been replaced, new mirrors. New wheel up front with a new tire, new axle that was rebuilt from the ground up. Everything up under the hood, obviously, the whole cooling stack has been replaced. Alpha Rex boys, they've been wanting me to put a set of headlights, their headlights on one of my trucks for the longest time. I never got around to it, but finally, Danny, you have a set of Alpha Rex headlights on one of my builds. We've made it, my friend, we've made it. Looks really good. Obviously, um, some things from the interior still need to be buttoned and tidied up, but the basic functionality of the truck is back. Everything closes and doesn't squeak. Waiting for those compressor housings to come back in. Look at these beautiful turbine blades. Looking amazing. No more bends, no more brakes. Everything looks exactly as it needs to. Still maintain the AC. New uh, Mishimoto front mount, trans cooler, radiator, obviously fan, fan shroud, the whole nine yards. New upper radiator pipe. And this thing is, I mean, just it's just incredible, honestly. Painted rear firewall. Truck was apart, so might as well. Hood closes, perfect. And then the uh, sport bumper cover will be put back on here soon. Some new flight fab tow hooks from our boy Miles out in Ohio. And it's eight ball, guys. Like it's 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 every part of the truck and it's almost done. So I will get you guys another update um, in a few weeks once the truck is complete and once uh, we have a game plan for Cassidy to come pick up her truck more than uh, a year and two months later. It's super exciting. All right, it is exactly 2.40 p.m. And I needed this, I look forward to this. I had this just for this very reason. A can of Spark could win you a Corvette and $20,000 cash. How about it, boys and girls? Now I'm gonna enjoy this amazing weather with the top off in this Z51 CA. Until next time, y'all.